What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here. And today we're at the capsule to talk to you about some Korean Pringles. It's butter caramel. I'm talking about sweet Pringles. So it's still the potato crisps that we know and love. And you know we love them. Because when it comes to the CTC review, we'll talk about Pringles any chance that we get. And uh, with these being available in Korea now, uh, I figured it's worth dropping the 10 bucks to check out what's going on. Because on eBay right now, you can find these $10, including shipping all the way here to the United States. And, uh, you know, by my calculation, that's not so bad. I like the design. You know, you get the, uh, the Pringle Crisp getting caramel dumped on them. I don't know why they call it butter caramel. But is he on a stick of butter? Can you tell? I think it looks like ice cream. It might be. But I don't know. I don't know. That's some weird looking ice cream though. I don't know. I've never been to Korea. <laughs> These chips are absolutely Hulk smashed, by the way. <laughs> I mean, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, this is this. this yeah, they are very caramelized. <laughs> Ryan, just take a shot inside this. This should be like... Oh, poor little Hulk. Yeah, uh, this should be the, like, disputed eBay auction how-to video. <laughs> oh, boy. They smell, they smell very, very sweet and caramely. Ryan, why don't you take a whiff of these things? I gotta tell you, in terms of interesting Pringles flavors, and I have seen a lot. I mean, I have over 100 different flavors of Pringle uh, can uh, varieties in my collection. And this is one of the most eye-catching, both in terms of the package design with that hot pink and in terms of the flavor choice. And I'm not used to eating broken Pringles because usually my Pringles come from down the street, but <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Pringles up. Very weird. Boy, when it hits your tongue, it's one of the sweetest things you'll ever put in your mouth. And then when you chew, it's gone. It's gone. It tastes like a regular Pringle. It's like two in one. Dessert and snack, back to back. Much better than Cola Pringles, because I think that these actually replaced Cola Pringles. So if you guys have watched CTC review number five, uh, we talked about Korean Pringles that were not good at all. Cola flavored Pringles, which I think were a little bit more interesting than this one, but also a lot more disgusting. I don't know, Ryan, what's going through your head on these? I'm trying to put my finger on it. So sweet. And now I'm, now I lost it right there. It was that quick. But then there's a little lingering taste. Yeah, I get a little bit of aftertaste, a little bit of aftertaste. And the aftertaste is, is more of that like caramel kind of flavor. I don't know why they call it butter or caramel. That must be a Korean thing. Um, it's just caramel, right? I think. Butter? Doesn't taste like butter or anything. <laughs> uh, but. Like Werther's, maybe? maybe yeah. It's like butter caramel? Yeah, a little bit. It's like a, um, like a toffee kind of flavor. Toffee, yeah. Like a... Um, like a Heath without the chocolate or something, you know, like that kind of flavor. Or like a uh, peanut brittle, you know? That's kind of the flavor that I'm getting out of it. But it's really not bad. I wouldn't say that it's good, but for, an, for, for like a really wild flavor of Pringle, I think it actually turned out okay, you know? Hmm. All right. First, we'll get into the gimmick grade. Got to yeah. Got to shout out Pringles in Korea for coming out with a really sharp looking package. Probably a little bit too close. There we go. Um, 
Really sharp looking package. I like the awning. You see the white and pink awning up top? Oh, yeah. That's a nice touch. It's like a candy shop. And they warn you about the sweet flavor. You know, new butter caramel. I think that that everything's really looking good. I think that the design is unique. And um, the cans are smaller in Korea. I, that doesn't affect the gimmick grade. I'm just kind of throwing that out there while I'm talking about the packaging. In terms of the flavor itself, really, uh, really an interesting, an interesting inclusion into the line of Pringles. And uh, I got to give them some credit there. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for the gimmick. What Ooh, do you think, Ryan? Okay, yeah. And a lot of that's because of the packaging. It's just beautiful. Really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in terms of the flavor, look, this could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. It still maintains that Pringle flavor, but maybe not when you want it because this is supposed to be a sweet. You know, it's it, and like to get a real salty potatoey flavor after you get hit with that sweetness is a bit is a bit strange. But not that unpleasant. I don't know. What do you think, Ryan? can't say I was really a fan. Not a fan, huh? I'd probably go like five and a half. I'd say it's probably a little high, actually. You think so? Okay, yeah. I was going on the grand scale of things, especially for a Pringle. I mean, the Pringle bar is set so high. That's true. I'd give it a four and a half. Four and a half, yeah. I'd give it a four and a half. Don't let that deter you from giving these a shot. If it sounds like a flavor that's interesting to you, you know, I certainly implore you to go on eBay, pick up one of these cans for 10 bucks, try them with some friends. Hopefully they don't come in a million freaking pieces like mine did. And, um, you know, I think if nothing else, you guys are going to have some fun. You'll have an interesting thing to throw on your shelf. And uh, that's really what this is all about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. And until next time, I will miss you until I see you. And you know what we always say now, planters, bring back those PB crisps. <laughs> <laughs>